Welcome to Berlin, where I have uh, Shards of a Lost World with me. And um, this is kind of one-man project, right, uh, Anxietas? Yes, it's my uh, one-man project, but live I have uh, live musicians. Like here, uh, my guitarist, Walzer. Okay, so tell me a little about the project. Uh, it's classic black metal with some occult and spiritual themes in the lyrics. Yes. But uh, we have a special uh, name for this uh, genre of music. Uh, we named it uh, Lower Saxonian Atmospheric Black Metal. Yeah. Um, first, I invented this kind of genre uh, with White Seal, I guess in 2014. There was a song with this title and we just told ourselves, hey, let's create a fucking genre out of it. Yes. Yes, of course, everybody has to have their own genre. So how does it differ from other bands? Uh, yeah, something a bit more weird than other bands. It's a uh, special music with special influences. Well, there are very many sound experiments in some parts of the songs um, which you uh, yeah it's kind of a surprising effect but um it's hard to tell here just well the best way would be to, to li uh, yes yeah of course uh, uh, people are gonna now listen to it but uh, can you still a little elaborate you said it's uh, traditional black metal but then it's also atmospheric so uh, is there lots of uh, synth sound in there or is it more brutal? Um, I changed the sound a little bit into more brutal. For two or three years uh, I play long riffs, uh, very monotone, but now it's faster. And yeah, um, During the last years we uh, just changed our style with uh, Waldseel and Shards of Lost World. So uh, Waldseel is more the, the, the atmospheric and slow and um, yeah, a bit a, a, a bit more hypnotic. Yeah, hypnotic. yeah, and, and a, a bit a bit uh, more melancholic. And um, Shards of Lost World is the into is the, the face. it's into the face. It's the escalating part. Okay, uh, black metal can raise many kinds of feelings in people, so uh, what kind of feelings do you want to portray with your music? Oh, some old feelings about old times, about the universe, uh, where we are come from and where we go, the underworld, that's all themes in my lyrics. But the feeling is, uh, do your thing. Don't follow other people. Do your own thing. So, in fact, every individual playing this kind of music has his or her own aura. And um, it would be crap to say, hey, this and this kind of black metal must be played how it, it, that's how it should sound like no we just uh, prefer the individual part in this kind of music all right then where does the inspiration come for you guys for the music and the lyrics inspiration from all around us from the stars from the forests from rivers from the nature uh, yes that's the main influence for the music. Yes, that's the main influences for the music. Okay, and uh, what are your personal histories with black metal? How did you come in contact with the genre? It was for many, many years, so uh, <laughs> I don't know all. <laughs> but uh, what's it? You? Um, if I should tell the whole history, how did it come to black metal? Uh, well, I 
I guess I would forget the details, <laughs> but um, I just can say I once yeah, got confronted with this genre uh, and I played in some other bands who were not even metal before. But um, well, I, I was searching for something different because the, the atmosphere to express here, it, it didn't fit. And um, well, I began to listen to this kind of music more and more and um, in 2007 I said, okay, I'm ready to create my own style of black metal. And uh, yeah, now we're here. <laughs> Uh, uh, would you be open to uh, maybe tell what kind of bands did you first listen? Was it the basic route that, like for most people, it's the '90s Norse core that they hear first? Uh, <laughs> say you it first. Yeah, definitely. Um, what was the first band you got confronted with? Uh, that was Gorgoroth uh, of Ice and Movement from the Twilight of the Idol album. Um, the first black metal song I got confronted with was with Satan and Victorious Weapons from Marduk. But um, the first band I was confronted with, oh, 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 Mayhem, of, of course. <laughs> Mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary. That's a joke. Mayhem is a great band. So what does black metal mean to you, other than the music? Black metal is life. It's my way to live in this world. Yes. Yeah. Nothing more to say. It's a personal, individual way to get out of this cage surrounding us every day in our everyday life. So um, we can put the the individual power we can't express yeah we can put it into this kind of music and a kind of celebrate it okay and how easy or hard it is nowadays to live the black metal lifestyle for you it's a way you can follow but it's a way with no compromise okay and what kind of uh, sacrifices do you need to do on the way like uh, I wouldn't say it's a sacrifice, I just would say it's the personal way not to run with the sheep herd, rather be yourself and um, deal with this fire inside you. In an easy way, you are the goat. Alright, then uh, you are playing at Blackland here tonight. How important are live performances for you? It's very important, so it's a way to coming out from myself. Uh, it's a way to come out. Oh, come out. Okay. Uh, it's a way to come out from myself, from the normal living in this uh, uh, as, as public. As I just said before, an escape or out of our everyday life. Of course. Okay, and uh, how do you collect your live lineup? So, uh, the lineup, uh, Walzel, I know for many, many years. Since 2008, to be honest. That's uh, the right year. Uh, and so, he is a great guitarist, so there's no other way. He must play guitar in my band life. He has the feeling and the talent to play these songs so uh, <laughs> and our drummer we are uh, meet him at a met him uh, our drummer we met him at a concert from his own band so uh, we are talking a little bit uh, drink some beer and after some time uh, we said, uh, do we want to play live at Shards of a Lost World? And he said, yes. So, yes, 
that's the story about the lineup. Okay, and from that we can uh, go to the scene. So, uh, first of all, which part of Germany are you coming from and how is the scene in that part of Germany and uh, then maybe Germany? The yeah, we are from Lower Saxony between uh, Hanover and Bremen. Uh, the scene, mostly the scene is a fuck up. There are some people like, oh, attention, attention. But they are only a piece of shit. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go so far to say that that's shit. But um, the problem is that, especially by uh, playing live, the crowd in Hanover, for example, is a bit boring. Um, just let me compare something with Weizsäe, for example. We played in Bern, in Switzerland, and um, the crowd directly escalated that was great they had this feeling which uh, we wanted to uh, to show up there on stage and um yeah in some some uh, locations in lower saxony um there are there, there is it's often different to uh, to let the, the crowd come out of themselves they are a bit like are we allowed to clap now? And um, well, yeah, it is allowed to escalate. Set your fucking feelings free. Yeah, uh, it's not uh, a scene, but uh, it's more a little circle of the right people who understand what we make. Okay, let's uh, talk a bit about uh, Chaos Cosmos, the right. uh, album that came out actually this year. Yes, today. So, oh, today, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what can you tell me about uh, that? Chaos album? Cosmos is an upgrade after the last album. It's more complex, it's more full of feelings. So, and the themes are very, very deep. It's about the universe, the energies, uh, about the death and the other side. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, guys, and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.